it's here. Everybody knows we don't need this. Now I just happened to be on Amazon a few weeks ago and saw that Sunjo had updated their dethatcher scarifier unit from the AJ801E to the AJ805E and obviously there's some design changes but we're going to look at them a little deeper and see exactly what those changes have done whether we're dealing with a way better model they've made all the improvements that they need to because if you've ever used one this one it does feel kind of like a Fisher Price toy this one feels a little bit more solid, but let's take a deeper look. So on the 801E, it has the negative 10, negative 5, 0, positive 5, and positive 10. And with this one, you just simply move to the, push the lever in, go to the next setting. Again, you can go all the way up or all the way down and have each one of those. Now the 805E has a push pull out and then the handle slides back into each one of these slots. It's not a push system. It's a pull out and adjust. Pull out and adjust. So we can go all the way to negative 10, all the way up to positive 10, which is the exact opposite in the numbers as what is on the 801. The negative numbers are here and then goes to the positive. This starts with the positive and goes down to the negative. So just flip-flopped and reversed. So you go from a height difference on the 805E of negative 10 down to the negative 10. So the handle systems are pretty close to the same other than the, this little handle here still has a safety switch and the handle comes into the unit and it's fixed. There's no height adjustment. If you're too short or too tall, you're gonna be in trouble as far as trying to adjust it to your height to be ergonomically correct for yourself. The improvement for the 805E is that it has now a three-way setting to go to raise the handle up or down depending on the user's height. And that just is a simple loosening of the bolts on each side. Hmm. Both sides? Now the way that this works is when you loosen each side, the, what looks like a set of teeth will then spread out as the, as the bolt is loosened and then allow you to be able to make the adjustment accordingly. Now, if we look closely, this does have a little arrow that is used as a setter and it has three-way position that it has recommended. And you can see the marks for those there in the black. Now. These teeth aren't that hard to move in the reality of things. And once you've got it set to your comfort level, then you should be fine. But what would be cool is if they could find a way to do it just like this height adjustment and do a quick adjust, that would be better than trying to unscrew the, the each side separately. Mm. Or say. Again, the difference in the handles as far as the height of the top end of this one and, top end, and the only way on this one is basically the same. The only difference is, is this little handle here is different versus this handle bar that comes across and, and comes back to hold. So not that big of a change. But the difference is in the adjustment now that we can make for shorter people like myself or taller people uh, and anywhere in between. So for me, again, shorter person, that's actually not too bad. That is, even though it doesn't feel like there's that much of a difference, 
I can feel just a little bit of difference as far as where I've got my hands positioned. Let's try one more lower. Now that's a big difference. And you know, that height for my height, the height that's setting that it's at for my height, that isn't that bad. And that actually feels a little bit more comfortable than it would for somebody who might be a little bit taller. Now in regards to how these look underneath, let's take a peek. Now this has the Scarifier unit in it still. We're gonna keep the Scarifier units in this for this test because I've never done a comparison Scarifier to Scarifier. It's always been the tined cylinders that each one of these has. So in regards to the space, this 801E has a lot more room in this undercarriage area and it's got the hex bolts. You can take a simple socket set and a wrench and take those off pretty simple and pretty easy. On the 805E, however, there's a lot less room. It's much more compact, but the major difference is, is these are not squared off. These are round. And what it is allowing for is for an Allen wrench to go in and to take those off. Now, there's nothing wrong with Allen wrenches, but I'm not the world's biggest fan of them because they just can, they can strip out easy if you get too much pressure on them. And I'm not a big fan of them anyway, but I would almost call that a downside to this machine. I would rather see some square hex bolts in there than to have these Allen wrench uh, heads on there. As far as the scar fire tines go, let's count them. This unit is one inch wider, according to the description, than what this unit is as far as the path that it takes. So let's count these. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 tines on a 13 inch. Where in regards to this one on the 801E, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So now, what is that going to mean to us? Well, if you've got more tines, that means your spaces are going to be tighter in between and you're gonna be able to get more scarifying uh, the tiny little trenches that the scarifier makes into the crown of your soil into the, and into the, through the crown of the grass and into the soil, there's gonna be more of them. And it's probably gonna do, since it's got three more tines, it's gonna tear it up just a little bit more. Now the difference in the timed parts of the cylinder, not that much different except this one's got the, it does, it's not a completely round cylinder head where this one's got the three edges that come out. And I'm not sure why they did that. It might allow for better functionality, but that's the difference. And that one goes in here. The other unit looks just like this. And it is a more of a round cylinder with the tines on it. I had to order a new one because the last one lost some tines in it and was damaged in transport. Okay, we've looked at both units. Now we're gonna see what they do. Please keep in mind that I'm going to be using the Scarifier units in both, not the dethatcher, because I'm going to be doing an overseeding project when I'm done with this and I just as well do it the way that I need it to. Plus the fact that I've never taken these units out and ever used the Scarifier in a comparison video. But we're gonna do that between these two, old lion versus young lion. Ah, uh, yeah, it'd be the greatest fight ever. Teacher against student, old lion against young lion. That's okay, so we're going to do the 801E. We're gonna get it started up again. Sounds just like a vacuum. Okay. So we're done with this side, and as you can see, and just for everybody's knowledge, I put this at a negative five on the scar with the scarifier cylinder. So not all the way down. Not too bad. A little bit of green grass in there, but a lot of dead debris from last season. Now, the 805. I have set this to the negative five setting, just like I had that one. That one's set at negative five. Let's see what it does. Okay, so we've got the 805E, it's all hooked up. I will say that this little power cord holder is a little bit wider than the other one, and it allows for that 12 gauge power cord. And remember, always use a 12 gauge power cord. It's just easier, because anything over 100 feet, if you're going 100 feet away from where you're plugging your cord into, it could cause problems with the unit. So just use a 12 gauge, and you can pretty much go out 150 200 feet which should be about as far as you should be going with something like this. So just a quick tip
just the tip. I forgot, we need to see how this sounds when it starts up. A lot more power. Still sounds like a vacuum, but you can feel the difference between the 13 amp engine and the 12 amp engine. Definitely feels a lot more solid and sounds like it's got more power. So let's see what it does. Okay, so we've done half of the half that we're doing. So a quarter of the yard, half for the 805E at negative five. But I wanna see what it does when we set it down to negative 10. If you can see a difference between with the Scarifier cylinder between the two. So we're gonna drop it the lowest notch it can go with the Scarifier and let's see if there's a definitive difference. Okay, so we're done. Couple things initially, just first thoughts, is that you can't tell a massive difference with going deeper or not, they, they feel about the same, but I will say that the 805E with that extra amperage, you can feel it pulling. I mean, when it grabs, it, you feel it taking off. The other one, it moves itself, but you're doing just a little bit of kind of following along, but this one, it's taken off. Now, I think that with the smaller capacity of the housing on the underbelly, you do get collections of the grass a little bit, and I'm not sure if that helps or hurts. Um, you can see more of an even disbursement of some of the clumps. Where here with the other machine, it would fill up and then kind of dump it out, and you can see the spotty, the spotty dumps where it fills up and it gets just enough to push that little gate out because this amount of thatch and, or dead debris you really don't use that grass catcher it's or whatever you want to call it in my mind they need to make a redesign on that or not even put it in at all because really I don't think that many people are actually using the bag at all so the bags somewhat useless I guess if you were doing a light dethatching and you'd done a heavy one before without the bag and you're doing a light one now Maybe that might make some sense. But as far as that goes, the overall performance, about the same. Uh, you can see, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but you can see the tracks where the Scarifier made the small little trenches in the, in the grass. Um, obviously there's going to be more tighter together on the 805 than there is the 801. But overall, they do a comparatively similar job. The only other difference is, is for those of us who are the shorter variety or the taller variety, you do have the option of being able to adjust the height. Not that that was a big deal because I can use both, didn't hurt me. But overall, that's the major difference between the two and the battery and the amperage on the motor. You can definitely tell a difference. Okay. Now that we've done the backyard, I'm just gonna continue with the 805E here in the front yard and down the most strips. Remember, I am using the Scarifier cylinder and I have dethatched last year, both in the spring and the fall. So what you're seeing is dead debris from last over the winter and the Scarifier is a little bit more aggressive. So it's pulling that up. If you have not dethatched at all, you'll see similar results even with just the dethatching tines. But Mine should be lighter if I had used the dethatching tines instead of the Scarfire cylinder. But because I'm doing an overseed, that's the way we're going to go. Okay, so one of the things that we'll do is you will get some good grass pulled up, but that's all right. What you're wanting to do is get rid of all that dead grass. And then again, your grass is resilient. It will come back and bounce back stronger than ever before. But just know you're going to pull up some good grass with some of the dead and the dead debris.
Okay, so we're done doing the scarifying and we were left with all this grass. Now you might ask, well, it has a bag. Yeah, that bag just doesn't do anything. And so the best way to clean it up, there's a couple ways. You could take a, a blower and gather it all in a, in a big bunch and get rid of it that way. But I found just taking a rotary mower and collecting it into a bag and bagging it, that's the fastest way. Okay, we're done. Boy, not too shabby. Sorry about the light, but got a couple interruptions. But it's really pulled out a lot of that dead stuff. And this is the result. All of this was in that in my lawn, choking out the air, choking any moisture, any nutrients that could get down. And that is why you want to do a debris removal by using a dethatcher so long day i'm dusty and dirty she's dusty and dirty and have to clean her up and do a detail on her but one more round for the dethatcher at another person's house just because i've had said before your grass is already green it doesn't need that well i'm going to a yard that hasn't had it done in 20 years so see you then three days later okay so we are at the home today of a dear friend and this was the home last season that i did the how to fix a poor sprinkler installation um it was a three-part series so we basically retroed all the all the nozzles we redid the the uh, manifolds the valves redid the backflow did all that and today we are here to uh, apply the sunjo dethatcher scarifier to it now it's been quite a while since this has been done or had any dethatching done to it but one of the things i want to point out is if you're going to apply this dethatcher or the scarifier make sure that you go down like i've already done and you cut the lawn cut it down a notch lower than you normally do get it a little shorter because that will allow the machine to work a little bit better because it's not fighting long blades of grass so we're going to apply that we're going to see how it looks and in three weeks we'll come back and see exactly the results Let's go. Now one of the things I wanted to point out is after I got done mowing, and this house faces north, therefore the sun does not, when it's, when it's winter time, it does not get a lot of sun in this area. Plus you've got some of these burning bushes that are up here that are starting to bud. And can't wait to see those come in. But you can see that the length of the grass is pretty long, but it had folded over and they got just, they had a little bit of snow mold, but nothing too bad. One of the reasons why I'm not the world's biggest fan on long grass, but they like it a little bit longer which is perfectly fine but for this instance i did cut it just a notch short, shorter than they had it set and just to allow that machine to be able to do its magic Okay, so one of the reasons we came over here today to help them out is that they uh, had said that they were going to uh, hand rake all this out uh, because the gentleman that used to live here, that's what he used to do. But I told him, I said, I can make quick work of this. And look at all that dead grass. All together, the mow strip, 
front yard probably took me eight minutes total. So well worth the money, makes a lot less backbreaking work. There are purposes and reasons that you'd want to use a dethatch rake in smaller areas, but when you're doing a big area like this, you want to be able to really get it done and get it done fast and efficiently and get rid of all this dead debris that is literally choking out your grass. All right, time for the backyard. Okay, so we're done. All together, the time that it took me to just run the Sun Joe Dethatcher Scarifier, and I did use the Scarifier cylinder because I knew that I was gonna have to be more aggressive because this yard has got a lot of dead debris in it. So can you use that instead of the tines? Absolutely. Just make sure you're, that if you're gonna use the tines, don't go super on the deep setting because you could break them. Uh, the Scarifier unit, you can go that depth. It's made for that. Just make sure you mow your yard so you have the least amount of resistance and you'll have a much better job. It will take more time because you've got to go over it several times, not to mow it, to go over it, then to collect it like we're going to do now. But make sure you're not wasting time by not doing the extra little steps ahead of time. Everybody just want to go over some of the details of our Sun Joe AJ 801E giveaway. To be eligible, all you have to do is be a subscriber, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment down below in this video. When we hit 2,000 subscribers, we will then randomly pick from those who have left the comment and are subscribers, and I will get in contact with that person, and we'll get your shipping details, and we'll get that right out to you. Excited for this, to be able to share this uh, magnificent tool. It's a great product, love it, it does a great job, and I know it'll do a great job for you, so we'll see you soon. Hey, thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for any notifications on any future videos being posted. Also, like, share with your friends, and please comment down below. It really helps. And we'll see you in the next one. Say hi. <laughs> this is what it's all about, right? Right? Yeah, you know it. He likes the grass. Should we go for a walk? Let's go for a walk. <laughs> I don't think he knows what to think of it. Well, we'll get him to like the grass sooner or later. We'll see you next time. There you go. <laughs> 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 I got it. I got it. I got it.